this is my makeup basket for the week of February the 16th I am extremely behind on doing my makeup baskets so I just got in from work and decided that I would just go ahead and film it now excuse the hair I am having a terrible terrible hair day but um we will fix that um, I'm going to get started and show you the palettes that I will be using this week and um, I am a little just, is it unorganized or disorganized? I think it could be either one of them. Um, and I'm trying to make a lot of noise here. But here we go. Okay, so the um, first palette that I am going to show you, I actually used today. And I don't even know if you can even see my makeup anymore. But it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Catwalk Palette. And it looks like this. I got this in a swap about a year ago. So this is what it looks like. Um, and the only thing I used from this palette today was this color right here on my lids. And I know it's a little hard to see. Uh, my lighting is different. It's night dark outside right now um, another palette that I use today as soon as I saw that this thing was on sale I picked it up and it is the um, Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette and it looks like this and I use two colors from this palette today I use this as a transition and then I use this as a crease to sort of deepen the um, to deepen my crease um so that this palette will probably be used a lot in conjunction with some other palettes that don't have a transition color for me and i feel like i'm not in focus um so be it the next palette that i will be using this week is the Too faced natural eyes palette and it looks like that right up my alley I will also be using and keep in mind I pulled out like one two three four five palettes but they will be used interchangeably so the next palette that I'm going to be using it came from one of the Christmas collections from Tarte and I think this is the one from Sephora so it is the Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette with that packaging and it looks like this on the inside. I keep saying I'm going to put a white piece of paper and tape this down so I know my colors but the shadows look like this nice and neutral which I will probably jump into that one tomorrow. And the last eyeshadow palette that I will be using this week is from um BH Cosmetics and it is not available anymore. It is the uh, it's a Judy Time palette. And of course we know it's Judy Time. It's a channel here on YouTube. Um, and this is the palette here what it looks like on the inside. Let's see. Let the film out. Am I all right? Yes I am. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. And give me one sec. All right. So, um, the last palette that I'm going to be using this week is not an eyeshadow palette. And it was actually a birthday, not my birthday, a Valentine's Day gift from my husband. And it is a contour palette. It is the Laura Mercier Flawless Contouring Palettes. The Art Made Simple. And it looks like that on the outside. And I like it because it is a cream palette. And the colors are nice and deep. So brown girl friendly. So I will be playing with this palette this week. Um, 
The foundations that I'm going to be using this week are both from Tarte. Um, and I did put both of them on today very lightly. And it looks like my um, foundation is a little worn off. I was in a rush this morning, trust me. And I was late for work. Snow everywhere and it was a mess. Um, it is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And I have it in the color Deep. They do also now have deeper colors than just this deep so yay tart and i am also going to be using the amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation i have it in the color rich and they do have different shades of rich now so darker some of my darker women of color can also use that foundation so i'm very happy that they did that um I did not show you my primer. I am going randomly like I always do. But the primer that I will be using this week is a Laura Geller um, Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne. And it looks like that. Today I used something from my um, Project Pan Basket and it was the the is it like the pore eraser that little tube i think it's a pore eraser I, mean, I can't remember the name of it but it's something that i want to use up in my basket uh let's see for my brows today i used where is it this is just the ultimate in not being organized it may still be over on the table one second okay so since i had to run over there i decided to um show you what i use as a primer today and it is the maybelline baby skin i don't know why i couldn't think of that instant pour eraser i'll put that back in my basket for my brows i used something that was in one of my ipsy bags that I forgot was in one of my Ipsy bags until I kind of went through it. Um, and it is the Ofra Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And it's the kind of pencil that you sharpen. And it is in the color. Eh, it's universal. It just says universal. So I did use that on my brows this morning. And I will be using that this week. They look dark. Anyway, that is the brow pencil that I used. Um, let's see, blushes and highlighters. Um, the blushes that I will be using this week, I pulled out three slash four. I don't know. Um, I have two NYX blushes, one in the color Desert Rose. That is Desert Rose. And my finger just went in it. And also in the color Rose Garden. Rose Garden I may be using with Desert Rose as a highlight. I pulled out the Black Radiance Artisan Color Baked Blush in the color Toasted Almond. Which looks like that. And I pulled out blush slash bronzer slash um highlight the sephora micro smooth baked sculpting trio and this is in the color tan 03 and it looks like that and i did use the blush and the highlight today um also i pulled out for a highlight the wet and wild fergie center stage collection to reflect shimmer palette in the color rose champagne glow and it looks like this on the inside so it'll be a nice pinky glow um on to liners and i pulled out and I don't know why I have two black ones, but I will show you the liners that I pulled out this week. Um, the Urban Decay, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil 
and Perversion, which came in my smoked palette. Um, I have a MAC PowerPoint eye pencil in the color Forever Green. We will work that in somehow. I pulled out the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Damsel. And I pushed it up too much and can't get it back down. So the top is just lightly on it. Um, this also came out of this came out of my In the Light palette. And this sample came in probably an Ipsy bag. It's another Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. It's just a little travel size in the color Zero, which is not as dark as Perversion. So I thought to use that in the waterline and the perversion to tight line with. Um, I am down to what I will be using for my lips and then we will be done. What I did use on my lips today looks like I could use something on top of it to give it a little bit of shine. Let's see. I feel like my lips are like about to die here. Okay, so I will show you what is on my lips and what I just put on my lips. Let me make sure my lips are okay though. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. Now my lips don't feel like they are going to dry out. Okay. So I had been waiting for this for a long time. And I know I'm supposed to be on a no-buy. My no-buy has turned into a low-buy because... I have been waiting for this for a long time. Um, it is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita. And that is what I have on today. On top of that, I have the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in the color Visionary. And this came inside of the Christmas... Um, collection from Sephora. I have a, and this is like, this is, I really pulled this one out from the deep because we all know Victoria's Secret does not sell makeup anymore, but this is a Victoria's Secret Sheer Lip Color Duo in the color Naughty and Nice. So you have your gloss here. You have your gloss here and then on the top you have a lipstick. So Naughty and Nice from Victoria's Secret. I have two Stila Stay All Day lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks. I have one in the color Patina. And then I have one in the color Dolce. And another thing that I got as a Valentine's Day gift. I have one, two, three. I have so much lip stuff. Of course, we mix and match things as well. Um, it is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. It is one of the new colors in Melted Velvet. Which is a nice, pretty dark red color. So we will be doing that. And... Mascara, and I think that that is the last thing. And that is my It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Extensions Mascara, which I have done a video on. That is it for all. I am so happy and satisfied with myself right now that I got this done because I haven't done one in two weeks and I did not want that third week to go by. And I didn't have it done. And I need to do something with my hair. Because it is driving me crazy. But you all will see me again with this hair. And probably this jacket. Because I have some empties that I need to throw in the trash. That I have been accumulating. But I wanted to do my empties video first. So I can throw it out. Anyway. Now that my ramble session is over. Thank you all so much for watching. And have a good day. Bye.